Hey partners, it's Today I Grew Up, and it's turbo time. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey partners, happy to be with you today once again. We are looking at the new Turbo Man action figure. One of my childhood dreams was to own this and have one mint in the box as well. What do you want? Suitor, and the rock and roar jetpack and the realistic voice activator that says five different phrases including it's turbo time accessories sold separately batteries not included this was really hard to find funko company as we all know who makes the great funko pops that we own decided to get this license of turbo man and make it into an action figure just like we see in the movie jingle all the way with arnold schwarzenegger and sinbad one of my favorite comedy Christmas movies of all time. I watch it every Christmas along with Home Alone and some other great films, but this one is awesome. I really have so many moments in this movie that I just makes me crack up. Honestly, when I found these on Instagram pop up, I had some questions. Number one, it's June, now July. Why is Turbo Man coming out to the store six months before Christmas? Number two, only four Turbo Mans were released to Walmarts all around the country to select stores and they only got four of them so your chances of getting two were even lower I saw with my own eyes I went to Walmart and employees bought the stock themselves put it on eBay the same day for $400 each and collectors like me were left scrambling to find a turbo man just a sick world we're living in sick people at some point on my toy hunting adventure some Walmart employees laughed in my face, just like the movie. I was like, do you guys have any Turbo Man dolls? And here was their response. <laughs> the Turbo Man. Hey, everybody. These two are looking for a Turbo Man. Shut up, man. Another Walmart was like, sure, come check our pallets. We have four, but we can't find them. Good luck hunting in the back. So I actually was digging through the boxes. I was like trying to find it, couldn't find it. It was like a needle in a haystack. So I gave up from my Walmart search. Sometimes I think to myself, what does Brian, the CEO of Funko, think to himself when he approaches these releases? <laughs> you know what would be so great, guys? We actually buy the license to Turbo Man, but no, it doesn't end there. We actually release it to market, to hardcore fans. But guess what? You know what would be fun? We only release four units per store, and it's only a Walmart exclusive, so it's going to be really impossible to find. <laughs> it's going to be so fun to see that, and everyone's going to be Arnold, like the movie, chasing the toy, driving to 20 Walmarts until they find Turbo Man. If not, they'll find a Santa in an alley and try to get one through guy's trunk in the parking lot of Target. Who knows where they're gonna meet them. <laughs> it's turbo time. It's not about profits. It's about fun. I'm bringing back the fun in Funko. Good luck, suckers. I mean, maybe that's the way it goes. I have no idea. So what did I do? I went to Facebook Marketplace and I found a really nice guy who lives pretty close to me who actually had two of them. He found them in Palm Springs Walmart randomly. He sold me one for $90 and he sold me another one for $70. So for the price of two, yeah, it was a scalper price, but it was more affordable and realistic. So I was able to get two, one to review for you guys and one to keep mitt in the box. We're going to do a full review, so let's get into the details. First off, the packaging for Turbo Man is amazing. He is nicely displayed in the window with his jetpack accessory, has the electronic lights and sounds logo, as well as his other features in the box. Love the box art. And corner says includes three action accessories, which is really cool. What's awesome about this box is that it really does look like the movie. In the movie, I think the box is a little skinnier and Turbo Man looked a little more chromed out, but it doesn't bother me. It's still a fun prop. I love what Funko did. They basically just re-released what we got from Tiger Electronics back in the 90s but he looks really cool and it's nice to have one mint in box and one out for display. Now when you get your Walmart re-release, it'll say only at Walmart, save money, live better. I don't like that, it has nothing to do with the Turbo Man movie. So I removed that sticker as you can see on the box here. It is removable, I did not have any trouble, I just peeled it off very slowly and I think it just makes it look that more authentic to the film, so it was an easy little fix just taking off the sticker I think personally it looks a lot better without that Walmart exclusive sticker the packaging says talking turbo man same repeating information nice graphic of turbo man there and it goes down here 
and you can see deluxe 13 and a half inch edition fully posable which is funny because in the movie it felt like it was 14 inches it had a 14 on the box so i don't know why they did that here we have the top again the repeating information electronic lights and sounds i really like that it has the jingle all the way logo from the movie because we didn't see that uh, back then with tiger electronics so that's a nice touch here it has all his features that he has and his jetpack as well we'll get into those here it says 20th century studios and it says batteries not included so for you mint and box collectors this is really great news you don't have to worry about battery corrosion as there's no batteries installed so you can keep it mint in the box and not have to worry about any battery corrosion so you can keep them nice and mint and sealed he definitely does not have batteries included which is awesome for us inbox collectors and this is one of the more movie accurate parts which has all the other characters included which is awesome that we see in the movie such as the villain dementor and also you have booster turbo man sidekick and some other cool villain and characters and here it has you can pause it if you want to read it but it has more information on the fun story behind Turbo Man, which made it into the movie. We also get a really nice Funko instructional manual that has all the information you need for Turbo Man and how he functions. So it's really nice that they include this and it does have other languages behind this front side. Turbo Man himself looks amazing. I love that translucent visor that covers his eyes it looks really nice really has some nice paint app details some people were complaining that it's not exactly like the movie because it's not a true gold chrome or anything metallic finish but i think it's still a shiny cool action figure and although his proportions look a little funny or goofy to me this still is a nice representation of a turbo man doll you can tell his speaker is in the chest cavity there he has some cool buttons that we will get into as well. He has his disc launching action here attached to his wrist. That is actually a removable accessory. Here on his legs, he has the ability to flash green lights up and down. I don't know why, but it's just <laughs> included. Nice gold boots. Here on the side is the placement for the turbo ring here, which is awesome. And it fits and slides right there on his boot, which is a really nice touch. Here on the back, the rest of his details look great. He's very shiny in person. It's pretty a gloss finish, I would say. Nothing's really truly metallic looking, but the gold does kind of have that illusion of a metallic finish because it's nice and shiny, which is really nice. I love the back here, the details. His rocket pack details are really fantastic, and he does have a button to launch those, which I can show you now, which is really, really cool. And he does have the included LEDs like we got originally from Tiger Electronics, so that got transferred over, which is really nice. It doesn't turn off when you press the button until you close it back. So that is a very interesting thing. His jetpack as well is removable. You just pull it out this way. And similar to what we got with the Tiger Electronics piece, it does have this as well, this slot, and this is the compartment we unscrew to put the batteries in. This is what the jetpack looks like on the underside behind him and I don't have any issues when I take it off or put it back on. It's pretty simple. Snaps right in with no issues. He takes two AA batteries that I did have to install. It's turbo time. Beware of evildoers. Good work, Booster. You can always count on me. It's turbo time. That's basically all the phrases he has, which is not much, but it's still iconic to the movie. And those are the things that Turbo Man does say. Turbo Man's disc launcher is removable, so it's a little clip. It literally slides on, not really clips on, it's more of a slide on, but you can get it to kind of stay. And then you press the button and he launches that disc very far. Now he does come with a total of four discs to launch. And yeah, these are the other three. The other one is on the floor now. He does have a switch here on his above his belt. When you flick it on, there you have the disco lights. No idea why he does this. I don't remember him having flashing pants in the movie, but you know, it's fun, it's funny. I think it's kind of cool, and why not? It's a fun gimmick to have, just to have it, and you can also just slide it right off. If you don't like that feature, it turns right off. So his proportions are pretty nice. He does have some great articulation. Uh, his arms do swing out this way. They also swing out that way which is really fun. You can also pose him in a running pose if you wanted to, which is cool. His legs do bend back that far. 
you can do some pretty crazy poses if you really want to. Uh, his legs do have some limited arc articulation, doesn't really swing out too much, but this is as back as the back leg goes and is as forward as it goes. So as you can see, he does have some limited but enough articulation where if you get creative, you can pose him some interesting things. He doesn't have any wrist articulation. He just moves at the elbow joint as well that far and not really that far back. But, you know, just so you know, he is limited there. And yes, his arm actually does go 360 here at the shoulder joint. Of course, his head does move 360, so that is fun. If you want to do that, you can move his head. I'm really impressed with the turbo ring. I think it's awesome that they painted both sides. And this one even has the red accent there in the middle. And that one's gold. It's very iconic to the film. Kind of reminds me of a boomerang. You could swing out and open this far, close it back, put it on the side of his boot, or you can pose it in his hand if you'd like. So now let's activate all his electronics at once. We get the rocket packs going, which is really nice. Very cool and iconic looking. Let's get his lights going. And he can still talk at the same time. Of and you can see the LEDs pause to his voice. Which is a really cool feature. So here is Turbo Man with all his electronics working at the same time. Looks really cool. He is ready for action and to invade your bedroom, living room, or collection room or office. It's really cool. I love this character and he's definitely a huge hit to my childhood nostalgia. He's really amazing. I wish you the best of luck on your Turbo Man quest. Highly recommend this if you're a huge fan of Turbo Man, Jingle All the Way, or any of this childhood nostalgia that we grew up in the 90s with. Really love these. It's awesome to have one mint in box. If you can get two, definitely get two. It's fun to see what the toys actually like outside of the box, but it's also neat to have one mint inside the box. Also, I wish Funko would stop playing with us collectors and actually just release enough for everybody, at least a pre-order. They do retail for 35 bucks if you can find it in person. But unfortunately, many people have paid a lot more as these have not been released enough to meet demand. Put that cookie down now! As always, partners, thank you so much for watching today's review of my childhood dreams and nostalgia of Turbo Man. I'm so excited that I was able to get these two, one to review and one to keep mint. I'm just super excited about it. We're on our way to 100,000 subs this year, so how can you support me? All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're alerted for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you partners on the next video review. Until then, it's turbo time. You want the real buzz like you? You're, no, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.